After more than 100 years in operation, the last of the workers at the historic Ivorydale soap plant are now being let go. This comes after another round of cuts last month, and WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick spoke with some of the longtime employees today. And Brian, how many are still working there? Mike, there are still 100 people, more than 100, who work here. Uh, but uh, this place, you know, it was once run by P&G, but it looks like it's going from landmark to locked up. It's been more than a century. It's way over 100 some years, you know, of uh, producing soap. A multitude of hours and workers have passed by the iconic clock, but now... This clock tower is where P&G started off. Time has run out in Ivorydale. The St. Bernard Soap Company is terminating the final 118 workers. For many, it's more than disappointing. What it hurt? Yeah, it hurt. You know, but I've met, met a lot of people here. Keith Randall has worked here for more than 30 years. I think yesterday we were in shock. Today, uh, I think we're a little bit upset. You know, we're mad, you know. You know, this is right after the holidays. St. Bernard Soap notified the state that they plan to make determinations beginning March 5th. It comes after 40 to 60 workers were cut last month. For them to just uh, do a layoff not long ago and then out of nowhere, boom. The notification didn't mention it, but workers say they're being told the plant, once the world's leading producer of soap, is closing. So now we really have to get back out and start all over again somewhere new. The plant began making soap for P&G in the 1800s. It was sold in 2003 to an independent company. Like those long ago dates embossed on the facade, the writing was on the wall. It looks like the facility with the storied past is now history. Yeah, now, St. Bernard Soap Company didn't return our calls, but some of these workers, they got face-to-face -face with these managers and asked if they thought this facility would be sold, but got no answers. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.